So this is the first video where I describe the concept of a computer. Now the first mistake people make is they overcomplicate what a computer is. And in a really, really basic term, a computer is something that moves something else from one point to another. Now there's a whole lot of abstractions on top of this, which means that we're able to do things like computations and calculate things. But fundamentally, when you look at the electron level, when you look at sort of an algorithmic level, it is just moving things from one place to the other place in such a way that has meaning. Now one of the ways that you might have seen this, and a really good way of explaining it, is anyone that's played the game Bioshock. Now in Bioshock you had a series of hacking challenges you had to do. And what hacking meant in Bioshock was you take a bunch of pipes and you stick them into the wall in a certain way that would allow water to flow through and do things like open doors and solve challenges. Now in a really fundamental way, that is a computer. You're taking some sort of resource at the input and you want to get it to the output and the arrangement of the pipes you use is the configuration of the machine. And what it is in that terms is something called a finite state machine. I'm going to abbreviate FSM. And what we're going to do in this class is build a finite state machine. But I'm going to describe it in a way of trying to solve a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bunch of ones and zeros on my paper. Each individual number here, either the one or the zero, is a character. When we stick them together, it's called the string. And what we're going to do is we're going to count how many ones exist in this string. So there is one, two, three, four ones. So we have four. The next thing we're going to do is realize that four is an even number. If I added another one, there would now be five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And as we're all adults, we know that five is an odd number. And our problem is, our machine, what it's going to have to do, much like in Bioshock where you're hacking pipes to get water from A to B, we're going to set up a machine in a certain amount of configuration that allows us to take some input in the form of the string and gives us an output, which is the result. There is an even, either an even number of ones in the string or an odd number of ones in the string. Now with finite state machines, the first thing you need to realise is how many states can you be, end up in? And the question is very clear. We want to know if there's an even number of ones or an odd number of ones. So that's two end states. There is two ways that we can solve this problem or two answers to this problem. And the way I'm going to start with this is I'm going to draw two circles to represent the even and the odd states. So I'm going to put an O for the odd and an E for the even. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to interconnect these two states with a bunch of lines that represent what happens when we receive this string. So this is our machine. This, is, this bit here is going to be our finite state machine. And it's going to take an input in the form of this string. It could be this particular string. It can be the empty string. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this string and we're going to feed it into the machine. We're going to designate this even part our start state. So we start at the beginning. We have the number one. We're currently in the even state. If we're in the even state and we see a number one, it means that we've received one one. Now one is an odd number. So I'm going to do, I'm going to draw an arrow from even to odd state, and I'm just going to label it with the number one. So we get the first bit of the string, comes in on the left, we see that it's the number one, so we just follow the path. We follow the path and we're in the odd state. Now if the string stopped here, we would be in the correct state because this is odd. We have had a one, one is an odd number, and we've arrived at our destination in the odd state. However, if we receive a zero, what do we do? Well, if we have a one and then a zero, we're still in the same odd state because there's still an odd number of ones. So all we do is we remain in that state, and we represent that by drawing a line to itself with the number zero. However, on the next iteration, we take one, zero, one, there's another one. Well, if you have one, one, and you add one to one, you've got two, which means we have to move back into the even state because two is an odd number. And again, the same happens with even. If we come across a zero and we're in the even state, we just remain there because zero is an important to our calculation. And we have actually 
finished our finite state machine. And I can guarantee and mathematically prove that this machine, if you give it a any amount of ones and zeros in any order of any length as long as it finishes, that I can guarantee if you end up in this side, there's an odd number of ones, and if you end up in this side, there's an even number of ones. I just predicate, uh, remember, the left hand side of the start state. And we can try this. I'm going to just pick a random other set of ones and zeros and then we'll count them after. I actually don't know how many ones or zeros there are in this string it's just sufficiently long. I'm going to pick the first one. We're in the even state we see a one, we move to the odd state we see another one, we move back to the even state zero, we stay in the same state we see another one, so we follow the path out back to the odd we see another one, we're back in the even state we see a zero, we remain in the same state we see a 1, we move back across, we see another 1, back across again, we see a 0. 0, we see a 1, move across, see a 1, move across, see a 0. 0, we see a 1, move across, we see a 0. 0, we see a 1, we move across. When we followed that diagram, we ended up in the even state. And I haven't counted, I don't actually know how many 1s or zeros are in here. But I can guarantee you now, because we followed this machine, this computer that we've just built, that this will have an even number of 1s in it. And we can count it. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 is an even number, and the machine has worked. Now... One thing that's really unique about finite state machines that you can't really do a lot with other machines is that you can mathematically prove that this is always true. Given a finite string here, this, if there's an even number of ones, it will always end up in the even state. If it's odd, it will always end up in the odd state. Now, this is a fascinating principle of computer science. Next, we're going to discuss push-down machines and Turing machines.